All right, you guys, it's your girl, Sandra D, the main event, and welcome to my community of love and unity. We will not be talking about hair, and we will not be talking about food. We are on the road of talking about the narcissist. All right, and if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Now, today we're going to talk about how the narcissist played you. The narcissist has this game that they are looking to recruit people to be a part of. And the game that the narcissist is wanting people to participate is not legal. It's illegal. Because anytime someone is trying to keep you in bondage and they're trying to control you and that they are stalking you, those are all elements of illegal activities. Anytime a narcissist is recruiting people to monitor you, to watch you, to even put spells and curses and hexes and things of that nature on you as a way of controlling you or inflicting fear, all of those things are illegal activities that the narcissist, okay, has done because the narcissist is trying to build a monopoly that is not realistic. Now, to some degree, some people may have made money off of it. Let's just be honest and real, which is why they most likely continue to be in the scam and be manipulated or they don't care. And what winds up happening is they get busted, they get caught, and then the narcissist either A, tells them they'll take care of them, which they won't because narcissists will lie to you in front of your face. And if you go down, you on your own. Um, the narcissist does keep tabs, even on those that work for the narcissist, because the narcissist doesn't trust anybody but themselves. The narcissist does not even trust their family and their loved ones. They own surveillance, too. So don't think that just because you went through a narcissistic injury um, that was pain reflected on you because the narcissist was angry and mad because you exposed them and saw them for what they were. They did not want you to see them as not perfect. They wanted you to see them as flawless. Um, they wanted you to pretty much, uh, that they boo boo don't stink, but that it smell like roses. They wanted you to live in fantasy land and they wanted you to participate and they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. So what winds up happening is, is that they deceive people along the way. And some of them, they deceive, you know, to keep them in the, in their lives because they don't recognize and see what the narcissist is, or they possibly could be a narcissist themselves and they can't build their own things on their own. So they collab with another narcissist to try to build, um, up their, empire or type of scam community because gang stalking is nothing but a scam to scam people into leaving their residence, their home to cause them to have mental ill issues, you know, as a way that they can collab together to come against you and say that you're mentally ill or you have, um, you're 
schizophrenic, all these things because they work together. They, they have a pot and they split this money. And they're splitting it amongst one another as a way of being paid off to make themselves look like um, they didn't know what was going on when they're the ones that's pulling the strings and doing those awful things to you in your family, in your household, by putting illegal cameras in your home. And they don't, they don't look like things that you would know that they were cameras. They could be smoke detectors. You know where you plug your phone into your wall socket and they got the little green little um, dot that looks like it's uh, conserving energy when it could be a hidden camera behind that. Okay. They will come in. You could have like things that's like a little, what they call it, little fire sprinkle sprinklers in your home. Could be hidden cameras there in your shower, you know your um smoke detectors you know i actually had someone tell me that when i had moved from a place um i asked them if they needed to contact somebody to come see the unit they was like no there's no need because they they can see what's going on already in your unit now i don't know if they meant to tell me that um but yeah I was told that to my face and I had already knew something was wrong and something wasn't right, which is why I moved in the first place. But what I didn't know is that the narcissist was behind it because they were partner, one of the partners that owned the place where I lived. And I didn't know that. So you guys got to be careful with places where you rent from, because some of them have these scams that go on within your own building and you are unaware that they scamming you and entering into your apartment illegally because it is against the law to enter someone's unit illegally. They know when you are going outside. They know when you come in, they clocking your every move. Okay, gang stalking is real. They come in and they want to see what kind of information that they can get from you because they're stealing from you under under. Okay, now some of these are people who are hired by the narcissist or the narcissist has no ties to them, but because the narcissist may have money, they start seeing how they can recruit people or they could have gotten framed themselves to where they ain't had no choice but to work for the narcissist. But they still getting some kind of money. They still getting paid. They got listening devices. But they want to sit there and try to put you and make you look like you are a bad person when they're sitting over here causing these things and afflicting these things on you. Now, I know some of you guys are going to drop a comment um, in the comments because I know that maybe there's a couple of you guys who have gone through this or you're going through this now. And it's unfortunate that people feel like they have to go through these things because they're trying to come up on some money. And they're not willing to do the work themselves, but want to make you seem like you are a bad person. You are the villain and you sitting over here working, doing your best work. And they sitting over here lying on you. Watching you. Now, the narcissist knows darn gone well that you don't want to have anything to do with them. But they're trying to hold on to you because your work ethics is bananas. Okay? 
The narcissist didn't bring anything to the table except for their hunger. What did they bring to the table except for everything that was not legit, which was all a part of their game to get you caught up in? The narcissist has been stalking you, monitoring you, recruiting people to monitor you, to gang stalk you, to do all of these wicked and evil things towards you. And all you did was be a good friend to the narcissist and didn't realize that you was dealing with a snake. And then when the narcissist can't control you, that's when they want to sit over there and send voodoo and curses and spells because they can't control your gifts, your talent. They couldn't control it from day one. Why you think they were sitting over here doing the manipulation so that they could try to come in and, and groom you into what they wanted you to be? They never had no power from the gate. You maintained and had the power from day one. You just didn't recognize and realize how powerful you was until you came out of this narcissistic abusive cycle. You knew that you was something to be reckoned with. But when you found out all the things that you needed to know while you went through this process, you found out about all these demons because that narcissist only came towards you because you destined for greatness. Because if the narcissist had it going on and, and, and they were so special, okay, why they keep coming back to Hoover you? Why are they stalking you? What's the purpose and the point? If you so big and bad and you got it going on, you shouldn't even be on the radar of somebody that's saying that they are all that in a bag of chips. You shouldn't even be on their minds. Make it make sense now. That shows you already that you had already been the powerhouse and the power source from day one because they had to come in and lie, cheat, and try to deceive you into them having you think that they were this um, person that they ain't been not even in, in their own fantasy land, in their own head. Think about that. If the narcissist was so much of a popular person and they could get and have anybody they want, why are they sniffing up behind your butt cheeks? Why are they sitting over here stalking you and sending people to monitor you? If they got it going on and they done moved on, why are they stalking your social media page? Make it make sense. Why they got to hire people to watch you? Because somebody that got it going on, not only do they move on, they ain't, they don't give two shits, excuse my language, about you. Because who is you? You have better things to do with your time, but here the narcissist stuck sitting in the booth in the back in the dark sitting over here on different gadgets watching you. But didn't wasn't them the ones that sat over there and want to treat you like you wasn't nobody? Made you feel like you had to walk on eggshells? Treated you like trash when you was a treasure? Went and did all of these wicked and evil things to you? Left. Okay, didn't want to come back. If you such a bad, terrible person and they did all these smear campaigns and, hire, and hired these uh, gang stalkers, why the hell they want to come back? If you are such a bad person and they sitting over here saying all these lies about you, why the hell they want to come back to all that? Because they knew darn on well 
that you wasn't nothing as they were sitting over there lying on you and saying. They knew darn on well that not only did you have it going on, they wanted to be down and try to see how they could be down to get with what you have so that they could go on that journey with you. But they just wanted to control the outcome and they wanted to try to control the bag. That's what it's really about. That narcissist ain't got your best interest at heart. They had a damn hidden agenda from day one. And you know that they had a hidden agenda because they couldn't even be their authentic self. If you were asshole, then you were asshole. A zebra doesn't change its stripes and pretend that it's something that is not. It don't pretend. It is what it is. And you have some people that love assholes. I'm not one of them. But you do. Make it make sense. They want to be all up in your face. And when you tell them, no, I'm good. No, thank you. So long. Goodbye. Sarah Nara. Don't let the doorknob hit you with a good Lord spit you. They want to sit over here and act like they so caring and loving and, 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 and so in love with you and want to be your best friend. Really? Delusional. You're very delusional. And then you got delusional people that's following right behind them. Just as delusional. Blind leading the blind. Stupid leading the stupid. Because they think they're smarter than you. Now, they may have had the opportunity to pull the eyes over, the wool over your eyes temporarily, and they did. Let's just be real. They did. But it didn't last because you have somebody that's smarter than a narcissist, and his name is G-O-D, God. And you knew, your intuition told you that something wasn't right. You just did not understand what it was that wasn't right because you didn't see it. That's how manipulative and smart that the narcissist is. They did it in a way that you couldn't see that they was a threat. And when they love bombed you and created this character for you, it may it put you in a position to where you were blinded Okay, and they was working on your emotions because they knew when you sat there and kiki it up with them and told them what makes you tick, that's what they was using as ammunition. Because even after the relationship, the narcissist was already sitting over here putting secret devices so that they could tell you. Okay, they wanted to know where you were at any given time tracking you and hiring people to track you and some of them was following you and while you was in your car and for in a different car okay watching you sitting over here watching you stalking you while you sleeping they watching you you remember that old school song? I always feel like somebody's watching me. Who could it be? The damn narcissists and they gang stalkers and them flying monkeys. Because they know that you talented. They know you got it going on. And they doing the work of that demon that was sitting over there lying on you. And they think that they're going to capitalize on you too. But a rude awakening is coming. They going to get got to. So every time when they sitting over here thinking they're collecting money, you going to get double. And, they gonna, and that money is going to start subtracting from their bank account. And yours is going to increase. Because they stealing from you and God going to make sure you get every penny that you're supposed to have. Because they was sitting over here doing you dirty and sitting over here trying to do a destiny swap on you. A role reversal. That ain't going to count here. Mm -mm. 
God is not playing. Now, why are they sitting over here laughing and, and kicking it up and ain't nothing going to happen? Oh, we've been doing this for years. You probably have been. For such a time as this. For such a time for everything that you have stolen from people is coming to an end. To where you're going to have to pay it back, give it up, or it's going to disappear. Point blank and period. They are not going to be able to continue living off of people and stealing off of them. And they sitting over here working their behinds off trying to make a buck to take care of their household. How dare you? And I'm talking to anybody that's sitting over here watching my video that works for that damn narcissist. How dare you? Have the audacity to take food from my mouth, bills that could be paid, and things that I need in my life personally that you would do something like that and I ain't did nothing to you. And if you needed something, your ass should have asked. Because God reigned on the just as well as the unjust. But God knows how to make sure that you could be taken care of too without you having to steal from somebody that ain't did nothing to you. But your little criminal asses is going to get caught. You're going to get busted. Your days is already numbered. So while you laughing and thinking it's funny, God is going to have the last laugh and we are too. The only difference is we're not going to be laughing at you. We're going to be praying for you. Because you're going to understand what it means to lose everything when you were sitting over here stealing for somebody who was trying to make a living. And you wanted to pretend like you had it going on. No, you don't. Because the only thing you was working on was lying, stealing, and trying to make yourself look good. But your days is numbered. And everything that you stole, not just from me, but other people like me, you going to owe them too. You ain't going to have nothing left. Because you should have left and you should have let people go when you were supposed to. But you wanted to take it upon yourself and think that you could keep repeated, uh, be a repeated offender and continue to think you was going to get away with it. No. Your days is numbered. God knew about it. And you thought you was going to stop me from doing what I was going to do? No. Who is you? You ain't nobody. You ain't never been nobody. Except for a sore damn loser who can't even look themselves in the mirror to get the help that they need to heal themselves. But you want to pretend like you got it going on and that you so perfect. And you're not. You a thief, a crook, a liar. And you broke. That money that you got, that ain't your money. That money belongs to people like myself and those that you were stealing from. And you will repay back what you stole. Because God going to make sure of it. So every nickel, penny, dime that you thought you was going to get away with, you not. That first time may have, you may have. But everything after that, and you kept coming back, that was, your, that was your worst mistake. And the stupid ass people that followed you. And if they smart, they would turn your ass in and save themselves from what's about to happen. But I don't think that they smart enough to do that either because they banking on and counting on you to save them like you Captain Save-A-Ho and you not. You can't even save yourself.
Now make that make sense. And this ain't no threat. This is a promise. This is a guarantee that that's going to go down. Because I know my Redeemer lives and he will not be mocked. And when he ready to tear it down, it's coming down like the walls of Jericho. And you ain't going to be able to rebuild it back up. And everybody that's involved, they getting towed down too. And ain't nobody going to be able to save you from the wrath of God. Now, this is how the narcissist played you. I'll see you guys in the next video.